Coach Otis was introduced today as the new head coach of the Norfolk State University Spartans football program. And guys, when I tell you his remarks were so what was was so eloquent. I mean, they was he spoke with so much passion. I'm telling you right now, there's going to be a lot of players that's going to be looking to jump in that transfer portal and get on over to Coach Odom as quickly and as fast as they possibly can. Because I'm telling you right now, he has a plan in place in which he's looking to do some things to get this program on track, kind of like how he did with Southern. But I'm going to tell you this also: some of the comments, some of the comments as he went on throughout his presser had you really scratching your head. And I'm sure there's a lot of coaches out there that's in the HBCU that are, are cheering loud and proud saying, somebody said it. Somebody finally came out there and slapped the elephant on the behind in the center of the room and finally said it. Guys, we're going to get into it right after the jump. But guess what? It's your favorite coach back at it again. Ten toes down, but to tell you how it all went down. But first, welcome back to Tomorrow Leader Sports Network with your host, Coach Walker. If you're new to the channel, please like, share, subscribe. That's right, guys. Subscribe to the channel. Like these videos. Comment on these videos. Share these videos. Not to mention, guys, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can get all these videos. Guys, tap a friend, two, three, four, or five. Tell them to come on in. It's not but positive vibes over here. Guys, also, you can find us on social media. The links are listed down below in the description. So without further ado, we're going to jump on off in this thing, man, because I know y'all are wanting to know right now, Coach, what in the heck you got going on now, man? Listen, hey, I, I'm just I'm just giving you what I heard. What, what I heard is what I heard. And I'm sure by the time you hear, by, sure, by the time I get through telling you what I heard, you want to go hear it for yourself. What? But here we go. Here, you ready? Strap on in. Let's go. Check this out, guys. Yes, sir. It's official. Coach Odom is now the head coach of Norfolk State University football team. And listen, when I tell you he, he, he didn't mix no words today when he spoke so powerful about the process he would have in place to build the program with, you know, building trust trust and relationship with the coaches throughout the state of Virginia so that he can get those recruits that's been leaving Virginia to go play elsewhere to come play for Norfolk State University. He also talked about the gas tank process of being able to drive anywhere within the state of Virginia on a tank of gas to get out there and just knock on the doors, not on just the, the schools that have the top tier players, but knock on all the schools to let those players know, hey, look, they are interested in them becoming a part of the Spartans program. Coach made it clear he, he made it clear that he's here to build the program, not turn the program upside down, not step, not coming there telling players, hey, you got to go, not giving players opportunities to get out there and really become a part of the Spartans program and become a part of the way of how he's looking to run the program. But he said, hey, listen, as long as you're wanting to become, as long as you want to be, be a part of this Spartans program, listen, we're going to sit down and talk. We're gonna build. We're gonna build a process that can be, you know, it can be adjusted. It can be bent. It can be, you know, it can be fixed in a way so that everybody's able to get on the same page and just grow together to build this thing into something that's gonna be beautiful. But let me tell you something. When Coach Odom said that he was excited and encouraged about the next opportunity to have someone like the athletic director, Miss Webb, who is as passionate as he, and not caught up in the fad of what's going on right now with the hiring process of HBCU coaches, I did a double take. I said, like, Coach, did, did he just say that? Yeah, he just said, I need to go over to Cut Day Sports and check that out. Also, go check out my, my, my other partner, uh, Off Script. He got some stuff over there as well. Guys, support those folks, man. Hey, phenomenal young men. I appreciate them, guys. I appreciate all of you as well as them for allowing me to rock with all y'all. But yeah, let, let me get back into this thing. Let me, <laughs> let, let me get back into this thing. Listen, for Coach to be so candid in what he had to say, truly show not only does Coach Odom feel that way, but there's other coaches out there amongst the HBCU ranks that feel that way as well about the current hiring process that these new coaches are being hired to become head coaches of programs. Look, listen, looking back on the interview that uh, Coach Maynard did after they had beat Jackson State where he was saying Coach Prime could go out there and recruit more, five, more four or five-star recruits boy, four or five-star athletes. To me, Coach Maynard was making it known, listen, we've been doing this. This ain't nothing new. We've had four or five-star recruits coming to our program. It just has not been as uh, publicized as it is now because Coach Prime is now in the SWAT coaching at Jackson State. And I get all of that. Yes, yes, we've all heard that this has been happening before in the past. 
in the past, but this was like a new phenomenon because you never saw it happen at, happening at such a rapid pace where you had four or five star recruits saying, hey, I'm at a power five. I'm leaving the power five. I'm gonna come over here to HBCU and become a part of that program. I mean, that, that's like I said, at the rate that has happened, we've never seen that before in the past. And if you've seen it like this in the past, please leave me a comment below and let me know. But remember, <clears throat> um, remember, Coach Odom and many other HBCU coaches had interim tags that was before their names, before they were given the actual head coaching position. It was like they had to show they had to show that they could actually do the job before they was given the keys to the car. Say, hey, go ahead and drive the program to wherever it is you want to drive it to. And to see some of these coaches just come right in with little to no experience and be given the opportunity to be a head coach. Yeah, it's got some folks feeling some type of way. And, you know, it, it kind of when I sat back and thought about it from a coach's standpoint, I said, you know what? I get I understand how they feel, you know, <clears throat> because there's a lot of there's a lot of coaches out there that you know pay their dues and they're looking to get these possible get these jobs that that are open and they're being passed over because of this new thing that's going on and don't don't get it don't don't get it twisted i'm being i'm gonna be honest with you right now if you sit back if you really look at how things have been structured for hbcu for so long they we've hey listen i went to hbcu you see it over my shoulder my kids have gone to hbcus you see it over my shoulders all i'm saying to you is this for you to finally see the type of revenue that's coming in for HBCUs is a beautiful thing because for so, for so long that money has surpassed has just just moved just just blown by HBCUs in general and they have never been given this type of opportunity to really get out there and do some things that's going to be uh beneficial to a lot of these campuses think about it we've heard about the nfl the nba all these professional sports teams and organizations saying that they're going to give money to hbcus okay who's cut the check yet but yet you got somebody come in here like you know like a comet that's just blowing in the sky say hey look i got everybody let's rock and roll i, I got my rolodex open let's make let's shake and bake and let's do some things and make this thing a beautiful something beautiful that everyone can be proud of and be and want to be a part of. And that's what this is all about. So I understand it from, I, I personally understand it twofold, but I'm, like I said, when you sit back and look at it from the, from a different perspective, as far as, okay, how in the heck does somebody with less coaching, uh, coaching experiences, me get the position guys, have you looked at what's going on on your regular nine to five lately? That's been going on forever and a day where you might have more education than somebody else. And guess what? They bring Johnny put Johnny Pencil Pusher in here to come, you know, do your job because why? They can pay him a little less and give him the title without paying you who they know. You know the job. You're experienced enough to, to take care of the job and all of the necessary duties to make sure that the job is done right. But they'd rather pay this guy over here because friend of the family or we can get him cheaper and we don't have to, you know, we don't have to offer him all these things and he's willing to go ahead and do any and everything we ask him to do and clean the bathroom without questioning us because guess what? He's looking for us to give him a little more. I'm just saying it happens all the time. I'm not saying that this is that instance. I'm just saying that, and I know that's probably a crazy analogy that I use, but I'm just saying, understand where I'm coming from. That That is what's going on. That's the harsh reality of where we are right now is basically what I'm saying. But like I said, I'm not saying this is right or wrong, but I'm just stating the obvious that happens to people every day and, you know, every day that don't coach sports. That's all I'm saying. So leave me a comment below and let me know what you think about <clears throat> Coach Odom's comment. That daggone press conference boy going to have you sitting there like, did he just say that? Uh, yes, he did. But until next time, guys, if you like the content, please like, share, subscribe. Also, you can follow us on social media. The links are listed down below. And remember, guys, be the one and lead.